It's nearly a year, one whole year, since fans have collectively been inside a football stadium, and this has had a massive impact on millions of disabled fans. For them, watching live football brings a feeling of unity. It's an opportunity to feel part of a community, to meet up with friends and family, and to create lasting memories. For this year's Weeks of Action celebrations, Level Playing Field wants to celebrate moments away from the pitch in the knowledge that we'll hopefully be back soon with our friends and enjoying the ups and downs of live sport, creating those life-lasting memories together. Because football is more than just a game. Morgan Parry is a disabled supporter who, with his dad Stephen, has visited over a hundred stadiums in the UK and all over the world. The suspension of live sport has not only affected Morgan and Stephen, but also the club they love, Bolton Wanderers. Hi Paul, well, it's good to see you back at the Wanderers. Yeah, hi Stephen, good to see you as well. So probably a few things have changed over the last, well, last 12 months and since you've been away. So the football club still kind of continues to, to run and operate. Um, but obviously the, the biggest thing missing is, is the fans, um, yourself, Morgan. So essentially Morgan's been sheltered since last March. So it's, you know, it's nearly 12 months. I mean, being a fan, whether you've got a disability or not, there's a kind of the whole ritual, isn't there, around the, the match day games. Morgan would always buy his programme from Richard. There's the team who uh, kind of operate the lifts and the, the doors in the access. But then for Morgan in particular, because he's been to so many away matches, he really enjoys the travel. Just those high points, you know, winning promotion, avoiding relegation. Even though television is good, it's not the same, is it? <laughs> Got a pop now and uh, see if we can get Morgan to come and uh, ask you a few questions as well. Hi Morgan, great to see you. Hi Paul, I know that the pandemic has made it even harder to run football clubs, but do you have any specific plans to improve facilities for disabled fans in the next couple of years? Considering the possibility of um, turning one of the, the suites into a sensory room, and that's a matter pretty much well very close to my heart because my daughter, um, Isabella, who's 16 next month, she has Down syndrome and ADHD. So she, she benefits from um, sensory rooms when, whenever we go go out into the community. So um, through our conversations with you and Morgan, we need to maintain that dialogue at all times and then you know discuss it at the board level to make sure that we do have the facilities that um, you know that will yeah. benefit all our supporters. One of the things that uh, Morgan was uh, thinking about was, uh, as you say, those kind of really exciting moments that you get watching live football and uh, his football highlighting moment that he really kind of regards as the most important was uh, Wilbraham's winning goal. I think that Aaron Wilbraham goal against Forest three, four years ago, that, that's the memory that will live with me forevermore. Can you imagine if, if that had happened in a stadium without any fans? It just wouldn't have been the same. So you miss that noise, that celebration, that looking at the person stood next to you and sharing that moment with them. If you'd like to know more about Weeks of Action and Level Playing Field, go to their website as well as follow them on social media.